Hi, first grade. We are here for our scholastic news, too much toothpaste. So make sure that you have that one out in front of you. And we're going to talk all about why it's so important to brush your teeth. Let's go ahead and start with an awesome video about how to have a healthy smile. How to have a healthy smile. Here is a healthy smile. Here is an unhealthy smile. Yuck. This coloring shows the germs on our teeth. How would you keep your teeth from having so many germs on them? Would you eat a lot of lollipops? Would you eat bowl after bowl of sugary cereal? How about eating lots of chocolate? Or drinking lots of soda? Dentists say that sugary foods are bad for your teeth because the sugar can cause parts of the teeth to become soft. It's okay to eat candy once in a while, but you always need to brush your teeth afterward. Now let's try something different. To have a healthy smile, would you drink lots of milk? Milk and foods made from milk, like yogurt, keep your bones and teeth strong. To have a healthy smile, would you eat crunchy fruits and vegetables like apples and carrots? Crunchy fruits and vegetables help scrape germs off your teeth. To have a healthy smile, would you brush and floss your teeth in the morning and night? Brushing and flossing gets rid of germs and food caught in your teeth. Would you visit your dentist twice a year? The dentist cleans your teeth extra well and makes sure you don't have cavities. Is it easy to keep your teeth clean? Just follow these tips and you're on your way. How can you keep your teeth healthy? Talk about it. See you soon. All right, first grade, we are going to learn even more about how we can keep our teeth healthy. Right here, we are looking at our Scholastic News Too Much Toothpaste. It says it's time to brush your teeth, but you don't know how much toothpaste to use. What should you do? Turn the page to find out. And you can see it says, uh-oh, this is too much. That is definitely way too much toothpaste. So let's watch and see or read about and see how much we should use. Okay. On this next page, it says tooth trouble, learn how to solve some toothy problems. As you read, think about how you can solve each problem. And a little tip right here, it says use a drop the size of a pea, like that little vegetable, a pea, that is about the size of toothpaste, You the size of the amount of toothpaste that you want on your toothbrush. Okay, let's take a look at this first tooth problem. It says the problem, sticky teeth, you ate candy. Candy has sugar in it. Now your teeth are sticky. Why is it a problem? Well, we just learned from that video that sugar is bad for your teeth. It can cause a cavity. Has anyone ever been at the dentist and they've said, uh-oh, you have a cavity? Now, they're able to fix that and repair that cavity, but it's not a fun process to have to go through. So to try and avoid that, we want to try and brush our teeth as much as possible after we do have sugar, sugary candy or foods or any sugar in general and try and eat it in moderation, meaning not all the time, but every once in a while. Right here, it says, what should you do? Brush your teeth. Brushing takes the sugar off. Brush two times a day for a healthy smile. So for example, I brush my teeth in the morning when I wake up and I brush my teeth at night before I go to bed. Here's the next problem. It says the problem, shark teeth. New teeth grew in behind your baby teeth. Now your teeth look like a shark's. Why is it a problem? The baby teeth could get in the way of your new teeth. What should you do? Your baby teeth might fall out on their own, but if they don't, tell your dentist. Your dentist can help. 
So that's the best person to go to. Just like when you go to the doctor, when you're feeling sick, you go to the dentist when you're having problem with your teeth. Here's the next problem. It says a sore tooth. When something is sore, it hurts. A sore tooth hurts a lot. And why is it a problem? Your tooth might be sore because of a cavity. What should you do? Go to the dentist. Dentists check for cavities. They can also make your mouth feel better. And then the last problem over here, it says loose tooth. Your tooth is loose. You can wiggle it. Why is it a problem? It's not a problem. An adult tooth is growing under your baby tooth. That's why you can wiggle it. What should you do? Wiggle away. The baby tooth will fall out and adult tooth will grow in just like I've seen happen with some of your teeth throughout this year, boys and girls. Let's go ahead and do a dance break before we do our last page. Here we go. Dance break. Let's do a clean teeth dance. Brush and brush. Up, down, up, down. Happy teeth, happy teeth, hooray! Brush again, up, down, up, down. Good job, give yourself a hug. Freeze! Now take a deep breath in. One, two, three. And let it out. Three, two, one. Now melt to the ground. Okay, let's take a look at our last page. It is the back of the page. We are looking at a text feature, which is a diagram. You guys know we talked about diagrams a lot. That's a picture that has labels and arrows pointing to different parts of that picture and explaining to us what it is. So it says, what's inside my teeth? Look at the diagram of the tooth, then click on the correct answers. Right here, we see this is what's called pulp and pulp is the soft, is the soft inside of the tooth. Over here, these are the roots and the roots hold the tooth in place. Over here, this is the gums and it says soft gums are around the tooth. And then right here, this is what's called the crown and the crown is the top of the tooth. Kind of like how you think about a crown that a princess wears that goes on the top of their head. And the crown is the top of the tooth. Let's go ahead and look at these questions down here and answer them. Number one says, what holds the tooth in place? Is it the crown, the pulp, or the roots? Well, let's go and look at our diagram. We know that the crown is the top of the tooth. It didn't mention anything about holding that tooth in place. The pulp is the soft, is the soft inside of the tooth. And then down here, it says the roots hold the tooth in place. Oh, there we go. So that is our answer for number one, roots. Go ahead and take your pencil and fill in that bubble. All right, let's look at number two. It says, what is the soft inside of the tooth called? We just read about that. It said the pulp is the soft inside of the tooth. So let's go ahead and bubble in that bubble next to pulp. Again, we are using the diagram and those labels to help us answer these questions. Lastly, number three, what is the top of the tooth called? We remember that because it's the same as it's the same thing as what a princess puts on her head. It is a crown. So let's bubble in that bubble next to crown. Awesome. The bonus question down here says, there is no tooth under this tooth. Is it a baby tooth or an adult tooth? Well, let's think about that. If there's no tooth under it, what would that be? It would be an adult tooth, right? Because a baby tooth does have an adult tooth underneath it because once that baby tooth falls out, that adult tooth grows up into that spot and takes its place. But an adult tooth, there's nothing hiding underneath it because once you have your adult teeth, 
That's what you have. For example, Miss Posidoni doesn't lose any teeth. I have all my adult teeth. If I lost a tooth, then I would really have to go to the dentist. So go ahead and bubble in right here next to adult tooth. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed learning all about how to keep our teeth healthy, how much toothpaste to use, and why it's important to brush our teeth twice a day. And make sure you are brushing your teeth in the morning when you wake up and when you go to bed, right before you go to bed at night, and maybe even throughout the day too, if you have a day where you do eat some sugar. Okay, I'll see you later, first grade. Have a good day.